on this installment of Cheaters. 24-year-old rapper Young Nice is worried while he's out promoting his new album. His girlfriend is spitting on someone else's mic. How are you today, Young Nice? I'm Joey Greco. I'm glad you called us today. Can you tell us a little bit about your situation, please? Just give us a breakdown of what's been going on. Lately, I just had the strangest feeling that my girl's going out getting sexual healing from another man and he's a threat to steal it. If I find out it's true, I'ma catch and kill her cause she stopped by so she can leave the house. Come home smelling like Bagussi and a weave be out. And she keep a nigga with some shit to grieve about. That's why I call Joey Greco on my cheating spouse. Like watch every move, put on surveillance cam. We is going out, then she had a change of plan. She said she had to work late. She got paper jams. She need a fix, so she probably fucked the maintenance man But I ain't got no proof, and I hope I'm wrong If she cheated, will I forgive her? Nope, I'm gone Even though we do have a child involved She should've thought about that before the trouble she caused Cause I gotta stick to my intuition Cause lately my baby acting too suspicious Bring your camera crew in and let's get the business And I'm confronting everybody when your crew is finished Hi, nice we brought you to this location right now because we have some video footage that we'd like to show you. It's very intense, it's very graphic. Would you like to see this footage, Young Nice? Well, uh, I gotta know what's going on, so... Yeah, show me what's going on. Day one, they saw my chick out at the mall. She was with another dude on his dick and his balls. Day two, they saw her with the same old dude. Had the same old spot, making the same old moves. Day three, she brought that nigga up in my crib. How the fuck she bring another nigga at where I live? Day four, they saw on my kitchen floor. Getting dick down by another nigga in Raw. Day five, dog, I can't believe what she did. They was chilling at the park and he was holding my kid. Day six, I swear that he was all in the mix. Then my kids are still fucking, but she making them grits. Day seven, I called her up, said, let's go on the date. She said, I can't, baby, cause I'm working real late. Well, we brought you to this location because she's right here at your home. At my house? She's in there with him right now. What? Would you like to go in there for the confrontation? Hell, hell yeah. Let's but I have go. to warn you, you have to be real subtle about the situation. Be subtle? Things like this happen every day. What? Please be calm, okay? Please All right, Joe. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. So I ran to the door. I went up in my home then. Rushed to the bedroom. I hit moaning and groaning. Kicked the door down. Then I snatched the sheets. So I'm fucking in my bed. So I snatched my heat. I put the gun to the head. Like, what the fuck is you doing? This my motherfucking life that you fucking just ruined. What about our seven years? What about our daughter? She looked like Maury when she said, You are not the father. What you mean I ain't the fucking father? That's my flesh and blood. And since you cheated, I'ma leave your ass in flesh and blood. Where you going, homeboy? Hands and feet. Please do too, nigga. Sit your bitch ass down. Oh Both of y'all gotta get it, motherfucker. Oh this tape around. Oh, oh bitch, shut the fuck up. Don't nobody wanna hear that shit. Oh I asked you, was you cheating on me? You I ain't dumb had shit to do with this oh, homeboy. You ain't had shit to do with it. Bitch, you in my room fucking. Oh fuck you, mean you ain't got shit to do with it. Don't you see my picture on this wall? I ain't see it. You gotta get it too. I got something for you, motherfucker. Where the gasoline in that bitch, bitch? Oh yeah, bitch. How this feel? How this feel, bitch? Yeah, I'm gonna strike a motherfucking match. Bitch, I'ma set this whole motherfucking house on fire.